Good morning, everyone. This um, video is just explaining how to do your assignment for today, which is the Family Connections characterization over um, Okonkwo and the people in his family thus far in the chapters that we've read. We've talked about characterization a lot um, throughout the year, and we know that it is a technique that a writer uses to develop his characters, and we've talked about direct and indirect characterization. And some of these descriptions are things that, like what the character will say, what they will do, how they will act, how they will think, and what others think about them. Okay, and we've, again, we've talked about that several times before. And so it's just that development of a character. And so writers use this characterization to create that vivid image um, of characters in your mind, you the reader. So we're going to take a look at some of those characters and you're going to kind of analyze them. So you're going to compare and contrast how Okonkwo, that's our main character, treats his children and his wives in the chapters that we've read so far. And then there's some uh, check your understanding questions at the bottom. And so I gave you a little example here. And so we're going to look at what the character's name is, the relationship to Okonkwo and the others in the family, what we learn about the character, and what is your reaction to the character. And so in this example, um, I talk about Ikwifi, who um, we see a lot more in the just in the chapters that we've read. And we know that Ikwifi is Okonkwo's second wife, but she's also the mother of Izima, who is one of Okonkwo's children, but it, she's also his favorite. And so when you're doing this particular section of your chart, I want you to make sure that you're not just looking at the relationship that character has with Okonkwo, but what that character has in relationship to other people in the family. Then what do we learn about the character? Well, we learn that she used to be um, the village beauty and in the famous wrestling match um, with the cat, uh, it was Okonkwo who won her heart by winning um, the wrestling match. And so that's what we learn about her in regards to her past and how she ended up with him. And then what is your reaction to her? Um, and here I wrote, like, I like her spirit. Um, it did talk about how she ran away from her first husband because she fell in love with Okonkwo. Um, so she kind of does what she wants or does what she likes. And we see that when she makes fun of Okonkwo's hunting abilities or lack thereof, even though she knows that he has a temper and that's why i like her spirit because of those things she does what she wants or says what she thinks even though it kind of can get her into trouble so i like i think she's a little spitfire a little you know fireball um and so that would be that's all you have to do for that particular character now again these are his wives and his children so you're gonna have to go back through your chapter or your notes or the notes that i gave you and find those characters um and i want you to write those down and then you're, there's three check your understanding questions. So once you've developed those um, characters and their relationships and what we learn, what do all of his relationships with his family members have in common? How are some of them different than others? And then how can some of the events listed above foreshadow future events and highlight Okonkwo's tragic flaw? In the first set of notes, I explained to you that um, Okonkwo was considered a tragic hero because of a flaw within his character. So you may need to go back and look at that to answer that. Um, but that's all of the assignment for today. If um, you need to refer back to all of the notes, all of your reading, your study guide, um, and that should help you to develop the family connections and characterizations for this particular piece. If you guys have any questions, as always, just make sure that you contact me. Good luck, God bless, and have fun.